Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, JT Open Stuff. Today, guys, we are going to open up a couple of Sonic the Hedgehog figures. I was at my local Target and I saw that they had a restock and I was able to pick up Shadow and Infinite. Now, both of these, I think, are really cool additions to the Sonic lineup. Shadow is a huge fan favorite. Can be a good guy, bad guy. Started off as kind of a bad guy. Now he can be a friend to Sonic. Sometimes they are kind of rivals with each other. Infinite, on the other hand, is kind of a jackal-based um, bad guy that Dr. Eggman has, has used to just be a thorn in Sonic's side. So as you can see here, he has that ruby that you know is, he's used to kind of help give himself the power to forget how weak he used to be so he can just be pure bad. So we're gonna open these up today, have some fun with it, and we're gonna see what you guys think about them. So let's take a look at the back of these figures. And as you can see right here, there are other figures that you can collect in this Shadow series, like Supersonic, Mephilus, and Heavy Gunner. That Heavy Gunner would be really cool, but my problem is I hardly ever find these on the shelf when I go to my local Target. The fact that I was able to find these two today was pretty much a crazy coincidence because they really never have a lot of stuff on the shelf anymore. On the back of this infinite figure, you can see that Skateboard Sonic, Cream, and Metal Sonic are available as well. Kind of gives you a look at the articulation. 12 points of articulation on infinite and 11 points of articulation on shadow. So guys, how is it at your local target? Do you ever find Sonic the Hedgehog toys? Or do you have kind of a similar issue that I have where these figures are almost never there? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if there's some other place that you look that you're able to find Sonic toys because my local Walmart, in addition, has, you know, seems like they've scaled so far back. They don't really have any Sonic toys at all. Maybe a few, a few Gujitsus. I almost said Fujitsus, but a few <laughs> Gujitsus, but that's about it. So... Anyway, let's get into this opening. We're going to start with Shadow today. And while I am opening this Shadow, guys, I really want to tell you thank you to everybody that has already subscribed. But if you have not subscribed already, please go to wherever that subscription button is for you and subscribe to my channel. I love opening everything from vintage to modern and everything in between, all kind of toys, some fun surprises along the way. So you subscribing would make my day and I would appreciate it very much. If you like today's video, please like it as well and just know how much I appreciate you and would like for you to be a part of my opening band. All right, so here you can see a little bit closer look. The packaging on these is kind of deceptive because the figures themselves are actually fairly small on the inside, but you can see that Shadow is kind of held in by one of those couple of elastic or one of those little elastic things. So that is a perfect use for the grandpa knife. Now the grandpa knife is something that I've had for a long, long time and we've used it on the channel many times. And as we always know, we cut away from ourselves and we get right into this figure. Wow, pretty loud, but there we have it. Now that is a really, really nicely sculpted figure. The colors pop, that gold trim, those little additions to this figure are very nice. Now, Sonic figures always have pretty small, thin legs, so you kind of have to be a little careful with what you do with them, how you present them. As you can see, there is articulation in the hip, the knee, the foot, the arm, the hand, the head, let's see, and the shoulder. So, some articulation going on there. And let's see, we'll also pop this guy out. Whoa, as you can see, that comes in the package as well. And look at the bottom of Shadow's shoes. Those are pretty sick. I like them, like them a lot. 
but what a cool figure. This guy, definitely, I see why he's so popular. He is 100% cool. Um, just very nice. Oh, there's a one more. Yep. Let's see. A little bit of articulation up and down there as well. But as you can see, just a really cool figure. Like I said, this yellow kind of gold, the gold here, the yellow here. I just love the way it pops on this figure. So a really, really nice little figure. Glad that I'll be adding this guy to my collection. All right. Now that we have Shadow out of the way, now let's see. This is the biggest issue that you have with Sonic figures is trying to get them to stand up. They do not really stand up super well sometimes because of how much weight is on there. But as you can see, we did get Shadow to stand up there. You just have to be careful with those little legs and the, and the heaviness of the hedgehog head. Sometimes it can be a little difficult to get those guys to stand up. All right, now let's move on to Infinite here. And guys, I am really excited to open this figure. I'm not super, super familiar with Infinite. I like Sonic. I, I played the games when I was much younger, when they were first coming out. I had it on my Genesis, but um, not a huge, huge knowledgeable person on Infinite. But when I saw this figure, I, I just had to get it because look at that, guys. That is a really cool looking figure looks like he's got a kind of a yellow eye and then just kind of like a almost like a like a um like a lightning strike or something on the side there but let's get him out of the package he does not appear to have any elastic holding him in all right here we go and let's go ahead and Wow. All right. There we go, guys. We finally got that really cool gem there that you could display with your figure. Light bounces off of that. Go put that right there and let's see. <laughs> All right. Now let's take a look at this infin infinite here and check that out. That tail is pretty crazy looking. That hair is interesting. That face is really, really cool. Just a cool looking menacing figure. Kind of got little claws, little claw shapes on the end of his fingers here. Tons of articulation. His feet are really, really cool as well. And I just love the color of this. Simple little pops of color like this red, the little silver, just makes this figure really, really stand out. The artwork is just kind of like an almost like the negative positive look that you get from the sides of his head. This is a really, really cool figure. I enjoy it quite a bit. And as you can see, there is some articulation there in the arms. Up and down, out, the hands, both sides, the head, definitely a little bit of movement here. Now the tail also has some articulation, looks like here. So those things kind of get tangled up with each other a little bit when you're moving it around, but you can move it down like that to move his head a little bit more. As with the last figure, you do get some articulation of the feet and the knees there. And then at the hip as well. Not a lot of articulation there, but a little bit. Overall, just a really, really nice figure here. I'm going to kind of put him like that. That is a cool looking stance, if you ask me. Well, guys, I really appreciate you being here to open these up. Which one of these figures was your favorite today? As much as I love this infinite, this Sonic our shadow, I should say, is really, really a cool figure. You know, it could easily win figure of the opening in almost any video, but I mean, look at this. How can you not name this infinite as the figure of the video? So with that infinite, you are the infinite 
<laughs> the infinite of the video. You are the figure of the video. Congratulations. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done that, go down there, subscribe. You'll appreciate me later. <laughs> All right, guys. Just having a little fun here. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.